Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Okay, so sorry I didn't drop that. I did a very long intro that did not need to be that long. Also beautiful freeze frame, by the way. Um, but yeah, this video and the next coming videos are basically just me telling you everything I know about Madden. I've done a lot of videos like that in the past, but they are not up to date. I'm going to refresh them, make all the info uh, actually still valuable. Because some things have gotten patched and things of that, that nature. I'm just going to update that. Intro was way too long. It did not need to be that long, so I'm saving you a bunch of time. Let's get back to the show. We're going to start by... Defending the run. I'm gonna start on defense and we're gonna start with run defense. I don't know which formation I'm gonna come out in. Let's just start with H tight. And I'm gonna come out in half leg stretch. Now there is a very H tight is one of the most popular run formations. There are a couple of others like wing and iPhone wing, strong wing, and there are a couple of formations you can pass the ball out of, which are quote unquote running formations. iPhone close. No. Um strong close. This video is not going to be about how to stop strong close because that's really dependent on the person because there are some ways that are really similar that people run it but there are also some very different styles that you, that you can run strong close. Basically what I'm trying to say is strong close is very difficult to defend and this video is doesn't doesn't want to take time to explain that. We're going to come, come out in nickel 2 for 5 odd in bench splits. I'm currently in the Green Bay defensive playbook. It's the best playbook. Uh, since the new run defense were f defenses were found in the game right now, you should definitely start running Miami Dolphins. You should go into Green Bay if you want to run what I'm running. This is the better playbook. Now, how do we set up this defense? We press the, the uh, cornerbacks, which is triangle down on the left stick. Then we blitz our linebackers, which is right on the D pad, down on the right stick. You're gonna slant inside, which is down uh, left on the D pad and down on the right stick and then we're going to take this safety and we're going to move him right here and now if i snap this ball jimmy g won't even have the time to hand the ball off because he's getting sacked instantly that's against iphone tight there are some runs that gash this they are not out of iphone tight though so if you see that your opponent is coming out in iphone tight or tries to run stretch come into this defense and absolutely annihilate him now this run defense gets absolutely destroyed with RPOs, so like iPhone H wing. I wouldn't defend iPhone wing with this defense just because there's a slant behind the most behind the most stretches and that's an RPO. And it this defense doesn't work against RPOs, but against iPhone H side it's great. Now how would I defend something like RPOs out of let's say iPhone wing? Um H wing, there you go. And let's call stretch alert X look, which is the most popular RP out of tight out of um, wing. There are two ways of defending this. I like to defend it with edge blitz. I mostly do it. I tr I would flip it, but this is my second account, and I have not made the uh, changes in my settings. I cannot flip the play right now. If, as I'm gonna call it, it's like this. I'm gonna always gonna come out with it flipped. Then I'm going to pinch my line, which is left on the D pad, down on left stick. Then I'm going to spread my linebackers, which is right on the D-pad, up on the left stick. I'm going to split all linebackers, which is uh, right on the D-pad, down on the right stick. And I'm going to cubic contain, which is L1, R1, or LB, RB, if you're on PlayStation. Then I take this guy right here and move him down in this spot. And then the last thing that I do, I... Put the linebacker, which is to the wide receiver side, in a bird hook. That stops the slant. If I do that, it looks like this. That's double. So press right on the D-pad twice. Then select the linebacker, which is to the wide receiver side, which in this case is square. And put him in a vertical hook, which is down on the left stick. This is how this looks then. And the run, we're going to scrape around with our safety and try to contain the stretch. Battery is low. Um, try to contain the stretch and force it back inside. And if he tries to, I'm gonna, if he tries to do that, if we have a better linebacker out there, that's a pick. And it could be a pick six depending on how good the wide receiver or the quarterback uh, track him down because the running back is gonna be out of play because he's trying to run the ball. That's this is a very has a very high likelihood of being a pick six. So this is a very good run defense against that. Now. 
there is another run defense out of 3 4 that's that is very very popular and we're going to come out in close close and we're going to call half x stretch i'm going to come out in storm brave one which i again would flip so if it, it looks like this i'm not flipped and if i flip it it looks like this the first thing that i do is i slant my d line outside which is left on the d pad up on the right stick i move him out right here blitz him and then i move green law out and blitz him too so if we now try to run the stretch there's two ways that this run gets, can get blown up and I'm going to go into the replay and show this to you guys. So, instant replay, bam, there we go. So, these two guys are blitzing. Uh, this linebacker here is blitzing and if I can move there, uh, this guy is blitzing too. So whichever way the stretch is going, we have one guy that's out there to defend it. My bad guys, I accidentally pressed the button. This guy right here is on a blitz, and he actually makes the play because the line is slanted outside. Um, if I can zoom in a bit, since we slanted the D line outside, if we are right here, he's going to attract a double team from the guard and the tackle, which opens up the lane for number fifty-four, Kurt. Kurt, I don't, I don't actually know what his first name is, for Warner to come in. That's how you can stop the stretch. Now, if they intended on running something like a dive and we run the same defense, once again, moving both of those guys out. Actually, have to flip the play. Yeah, perfect. And if we run something like dive, we have to be really careful because there is a chance that the two guys that we moved out can shoot in the backfield and make the play. But if they don't, and the blitzing linebacker, middle linebacker gets picked up, then we're in trouble because then we have to make the play with our user. So in that case, if you see that they're running um, run up the middle, you have to be really careful with the user. In that case, I felt really confident um, going into the gap because my outside linebacker got in freely. If he doesn't get in freely, then we're in trouble. So always be aware of that. You have to realize when the run defense didn't work, uh, how, it's uh, how it was supposed to, and then have to make the adjustment. Okay, I gotta be a bit more conservative now with my, with my run defense. Now, last run defense I want to show you is how to blow up inside zone out of shotgun runs, obviously, because not actually it also works against a uh, single back, but against single back, I don't feel comfortable running big time over six. Just me, it probably would work, but I just don't like that. DB Sting to Buster is a player want to come out. Here. I did a full video on this. If you want to learn how to also defend the pass against this. So, calling that. And let's call a generic run, which is trip side inside zone. Once again, this works incredibly well against inside zone. It does not work that great against something like a base. Against the base, it's, it's going to struggle a bit more. So, what do you do with this? This is, how, well, controller. This is how the play looks. We're going to blitz our linebackers, which is, again, right on the D-pad, down on the right stick. Then we're going to move both of those cornerbacks in. The cornerback on the right in that case does not matter that much. We need to make sure to get Williams in. Then we're going to QB contain. All the way in there. And then move those two guys down for some more answer support. If I snap this ball now, you're going to see how this linebacker gets in completely freely. There's no way in hell that this is getting, uh, th that this is getting gashed. I haven't faced a lot of people running inside zone against this because it just doesn't work. But my guess would be that if they motion in somebody extra to block, this maybe would be, would be better. There maybe is a way to get inside zone going against this. I just haven't found one, so I feel really comfortable running this against people who want to run inside zone out of shotgun sets. Now, as you can see, this is getting blown up. And anybody who's struggling with defending uh, inside zones should not no longer, okay? This is a really, really good run defense if you want to. Um, if you want to stop inside zones, now, there's another way uh, you can stop the run, but I don't like it quite as much. It is this nickel 335 wide, and this is sort of like 
a little extra run defense because yeah because we want to call cover two man and i'm not exactly sure about what the setup is we're gonna go to each slot we're gonna run for bubble it's press i think then it's spread the d-line slant inside and put both of those safe these safeties in spies and then use this guy and have a safety in that spot preferably with enforcer what you need though is you need two uh, defensive linemen with run stopping chemistries right here and right here in ultimate team that's no problem in regular teams it's a bit more of a struggle so this is why I don't like that de this defense as much but it should also work quite well now you see that we didn't didn't get any chance there and that's a problem if this defense does not chat we are having issues it's not blowing up the run run like the one of two for five it's not quite as flashy but it's way more consistent and works against more runs it just doesn't get those minus three yards plays it's just something to contain the run i don't like it because i i don't like having to rely on abilities that much like i still rely a bit on them because i expect to get fumbles with my enforcer taylor mace but in that case i really don't feel comfortable i just wanted to show it to you guys because a lot of people are starting to run it online and I just don't feel right keeping that defense away from you. Just know that it's not my go-to run defense and I don't feel comfortable. Telling you guys that you should run it every play. There's certainly some situations in which it can work. I just don't feel comfortable with it working constantly. Now with that being said, I appreciate you very much for watching the video. I think that this is a very good video. The run has been patched a lot, so if you if you lose to runners after the patch and after this video, I, I don't know. You just might have to tune into my streams, Twitch TV slash Prodigy, Prodigy underscore G. Link is in the description. Insta plug. Um, and watch me do it because, yeah, it's it's really locked down for runners. They have no chance against me. Thank you for watching. Check out some of the other videos on my channel. I did a 40 minute video on the best offense in the game. I'll link that at the end, at the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.